Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly advice readings for the week beginning March 11th, 2019. Apologies, I know I'm a little late. Um, this is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising signs. And you can also watch this if you're dealing with a Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising. As always, keep in mind, these are general readings. They're not going to apply to everyone or not in the same way. And make sure to watch all your signs. So let's see, Libra, what's going on for you in the week beginning March 11th. Okay, so bottom of the deck here, we do have the Three of Swords. So with the Three of Swords, there's no way around this. This is disappointment. I feel like for some it's just disappointment that something is delayed. For others, this is disappointment that something's not going through. Uh, for some, it can be heartache, heartbreak situation. Um, for some, it could just be experiencing a time of distance from someone you care for, um, whether that's physical or emotional. And this can also indicate a time of suppressing your emotions. So let's see what's going on here. Three of Swords is also an energy of sacrifice. It's like, this is not what I want to do, but I feel like this is what I have to do, okay? So, um, that kind of energy. So, in the current situation, we do have the Judgment card. So, with the Judgment card, I feel like this is what you're hoping for. Now, this could be hoping for a second chance. This could be hoping for a clean slate, fresh start, the yes answer, the news you were hoping for that gives you that new beginning, um, that opens the door for you. It is crossed by the Ten of Wands. So I feel like it's been a burden. This has been something that is, it's been going on for some time. I feel like it may have been something where you tried over and over again. For some, I feel like this is to do with paperwork, with visas, with uh, citizenship, residence, anything like that to clear up your status there. Um, for others, this is about getting into the career you want. Uh, it's anything where you have to take an exam to get in. And you may have tried a bunch of different times and it's like, well, I feel like it's now or never. And maybe there's a delay in them getting back to you. Um, and that's why you're starting to feel disheartened and to, to lose hope. Like, I wonder if this means I'm not going to get it. Um, for others of you, I do feel that the judgment card does talk about liberation, freeing yourself from a burden or a burdensome relationship. I do feel like it can be love for some of you. I feel like this is something that has been a lot of hard work for you. And you've always uh, done your best with it. You've always given it your best. And it, you were alone and carrying the burden. So you might be freeing yourself from that during this time, okay? Um, for others, I feel that someone might be asking for a second chance. Whether this is you or the other person. Because they have not been able to let go of you. They have not been able to move on from you. Okay? And the foundation so why this is happening we do have the page of cups so again this is about news that you have high hopes for this is about waiting to hear that message waiting, waiting for that call um and it all comes down to that i feel like there's a lot a lot writing on this piece of information on this um feedback or whatever it is okay did i get the job um do i get a second chance do we start over um, do you forgive me? Uh, do you love me? Maybe you put yourself out there and the other person's taking too long to tell you how they feel and how they feel about what you told them. And that's making you feel like, oh my God, it, it, they're going to say no or something along those lines. Okay. Um, with the judgment card, I feel like also this communication may have happened, um, previously for some of you. Someone might have been asking for forgiveness for a while. Maybe they're persistent. Maybe um, this is someone not taking no for an answer, but they tell you, they, they say beautiful things and they say what you want to hear. But I feel like that may have happened in the past several times. And so now you're at the point where, well, I've kind of heard it all. I don't know if I should believe it again. Okay. Because maybe you may have been burnt in the past. In the um, past position, we do have the temperance card. So again, for some of you, you have been weighing up this decision for quite some time. While for others, you've been waiting for someone else to make a decision. 
Uh, and again, that could be with love life or it could be with job or it could be, did I get in? Did I get the interview? Did I get the job? Did I get the mortgage? Um, did I get the visa or whatever? Um, I feel like this has been going on for quite some time. And for others, this is the burden that's been going on for quite some time. And you've been considering, should I stay or should I go for a while now? Okay. Um, and we do have fire sign energy here. We have a lot of fire. So particularly Sagittarius with the Temperance card, but we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in terms of fire signs that might be um, strongly connected to what's going on here to this burden. Or for some, it's just talking about a situation with your work or even with your health, with your vitality. Okay. In the crowning thoughts position, we do have the Hierophant. So for some of you, this is around a Taurus. I feel like a Taurus is giving you an option. So you have the option of either going back to your past, giving someone another second chance. Um, this person may be a fire sign or they have fire in their chart or they're just not taking no for an answer. And then you have a Taurus on the mind or an earth sign, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or something that is a more of a concrete, down-to-earth, real, here-and-now commitment. So you've got someone who's telling you everything you want to hear, but it's, it's the page of cups. It's like, well, it sounds so good, but is it too good to be true? It might have been, you know, something that already burned you in the past. It's something that you kind of have to just take a chance for because you're not really seeing where you're going with it. It's just talk at this point. And then you have someone with a solid commitment, someone who always keeps their words, someone who does what they say they will, okay? And they're giving you an option. And I feel like that's the choice for some of you. And it is about breaking a cycle, breaking a cycle, karmic cycle. You might be going back into it or you might be breaking it, taking a different direction altogether. It just depends where you are and what's meant for you and what kind of lessons you have to learn, okay? But this is about, I want that for some, this is that earth sign or whatever sign this person is, someone giving you a solid commitment. And it may not sound as exciting um, as what the Page of Cups message is, but it's real, okay? It's real, it's concrete. You see it, you can touch it, it's there, it's yours if you want it. Um, for others, this is you might be looking at getting back together with an ex, especially if you were married or if you have children together. Um, and maybe that's where this comes in. Well, I'm not sure how I really feel about you, but it, this would be the right thing to do for our family or something along those lines. Yeah. This could also be, well, I want to go and start my own business and be free to do what I want. However, I have to provide for my family and be, you know, do the responsible thing as it were and go into the more traditional uh, employment type, okay? So for some, that's something that might be going on here, something that might be on the mind. It could also be that your family or your sense of duty to your family um, is what's giving you a hard time and it's making you um, kind of put your dreams on hold because you feel like you, you just can't take chances at this time. You need to do the same old, same old, the tried and tested and something that's, it's going to give you what it says on the box. Okay. Now in the outcome, we do have the King of Pentacles. So for some of you, I do feel that this is about choosing the earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, someone a rising sign. Um, regardless of the sign of this person, you're choosing the one that gives you stability. You're choosing the one that will do what they say. Um, I do feel like it's breaking cycles for some of you. And so you're learning to go with the here, the now. You're choosing to go more with who keeps their word and who I can rely on and will have my back no matter what versus that person or situation that sparks your passion and it's intense but it's very very unstable okay um and for others of you this can talk about going into business for yourself and the hierophant is you know talking to the government getting the loan or whatever um it can talk about getting the money for the house or getting your paperwork in order okay that can be uh, what's coming up here i also get uh, uh getting 
registered or getting the certificate or getting the, the paper something that's official that's signed that's very very important that's very very valuable um, also coming up here and for those of you who have been dealing with a breakup or have been dealing with healing yourself maybe for quite some time okay either from something that happened with a fire sign or again something that was very very someone who was flaky someone you have a very intense connection with but you just simply cannot rely on them it just doesn't work and they always hurt you um i feel like the fact that you've taken time to heal yourself is bringing you new love that will actually bring you the commitment that you want and deserve so just keep your eyes open and just put yourself out there get to know people and again, it's just about sit back and see who will keep their promises to you. Okay, don't try to impress them. Let them try to impress you for a change. All right. Um, and that's how you know who really, really values you. Okay, so from disappointment to relief and from uh, heartache to healing or even more. Okay. Um, very, very interesting spread here. So let me know how the cards apply to you, if they do, how the messages make sense to you. If they do, I do hope the reading helps if you're dealing with these energies. Um, remember to watch all your signs. Have a wonderful week, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.